And so everybody has this assumption that we are going to be so freshman oriented, and that's really not going to be the case. I think on opening day we'll probably have two freshmen in our lineup, maybe an outside chance of a third. Uh, but the rest of the lineup is going to be filled with one junior college transfer and then six returning players. I felt Papierski was ready to play last year, and had he been our starting catcher, would have been uh, would have done a fine job for us. He's an outstanding defensive player and has made a significant improvement in his hitting as we go into this next season. Greg Dykeman uh, is going to be our first baseman. Greg's going to hit in the middle of the order. He's got a chance to be awesome. Uh, I mean that sincerely. He's, he's a tremendous athlete, perhaps the fastest guy on our team, and that's saying something with some of the other guys we have. But Greg is capable of stealing 30 or 35 bases. He's that fast. But he's also our most powerful guy. He can hit them uh, as far as anybody I've ever had here. And they're usually real towering type of balls. But he went off and had a really good summer in Cape Cod. Uh, he's played well this fall. If he were out there at all for the Purple versus Gold World Series games, Kramer shined brighter than anybody. Hit a couple of home runs. Uh, hit a couple balls off the wall, played terrific defense. So I hope Kramer is ready to, to take that starting job at second base and run with it and really give us a, a very good, solid veteran player there as well. I do think that Trey Dawson is going to be a very steady shortstop. He's a very confident kid, very sure-handed. Uh, probably doesn't swing the bat at the level that Bregman does right now, maybe doesn't even have the range or the ability to steal bases, but he's a very good, solid baseball player. We will count on one junior college player right out of the gate, and that would be Cole Freeman out of Delgado Junior College. Cole Freeman went to Delgado two years ago, developed as a player. He actually was a gold glove winner for the junior college level at second base, uh, but I'm going to flip him over to third base. I'm going to leave Kramer at second. And uh, Cole's going to remind you a lot of, of uh, Tyler Hanover. You all remember Tyler Hanover who played for us a few years ago. A little bit undersized, but a real pesky, hard-nosed ball player. And that would define Cole. I'd probably say Tyler's a little bit more powerful with the bat, but I'd tell you that Cole is a lot faster than Tyler. Two other uh, returning players that I believe will be in the starting lineup on opening night are the, the Jordan boys, the Jordan twins from Barb High School, Bo and Bryce. Uh, Bo's probably going to be our starting left fielder on opening night. Uh, I say probably because we also have a fourth outfielder by the name of uh, Brennan Bro that I, I consider a starting player, although we can only play three starters in the outfield, but Brennan's going to play an awful lot. He just may not be in there on opening night. But Bo Jordan in left field, I, 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 I kind of got him tabbed to be our cleanup hitter. Uh, he's, got, you know, he's not the most picturesque outfielder, but he finds a way to get the job done and makes the catches. Uh, but he's certainly not as speedy as some of the other guys. I mentioned Bro and Fraley, and I'll, I'll talk in a minute about a, another outfielder. Uh, but Bryce, and, uh, had a great, Bryce had a great summer. I think he'll probably be our designated hitter on opening night. Bo will be in left field. Of course, Jake Fraley is our lone returning starting player and I think one of the best players in the country. Uh, very capable of being an all-SEC, all-American caliber player, high draft choice. Uh, he's ready to, to uh, take the mantle, so to speak, and, um, and be our leader. And then the last freshman is our right fielder, Antoine Duplantis. Duplantis is really a center fielder, but we're going to go with Fraley in center, and I think Jake will do a good job there. But putting Duplantis in right field is kind of the same as putting Mark Laird in right field. Mark could have played center field, but for the fact that we had Andrew Stevenson out there. So the more speed we have in the outfield, the more ground we're going to cover. And I'll tell you, Antoine Duplantis is, is uh, you know, the same caliber of outfielder as those two guys that we lost from last year, Laird and Stevenson. In addition... <laughs>